hello and welcome back to my channel so today i'm here ladies and gents to have a chat the topic of the day being is your name your identity we're going to talk about what i mean by that so i am on a transformational kind of level up journey if you will as all of us are there are several things that you can do to essentially level up and make your life easier, better, faster, stronger, whatever that may be. So those things, as we know, include dressing better, eating clean, eating out less, exercising, yada, 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 yada. We all know the drill, right? But something that I'm choosing to do on my transformational journey and including those aforementioned things, you know, healthy eating, exercise, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, all the things that we all aspire to do is changing my first name. <sighs> yes, changing my first name. People legally change their name for all sorts of reasons. Some of those being people who have stereotypical ethnic names that are sick of being teased or passed up for jobs or what have you. People who are transitioning from female to male or vice versa and just are changing their their name associated with their new identity or existing identity if you will. Marriage or divorce. I even read about some accounts where someone said their name felt childish so a very youthful name or they wanted something more elevated you know people who just didn't feel like their name suited them for whatever reason you know name discrim discrimination like i mentioned earlier that kind of thing so there are many reasons why someone chooses to change their name now a little bit of backstory about me i never liked my first name and i don't even think i really talked that much about it to other people but i even went through a point in my adolescence like my teenage years where i actively hated my name and i actively wanted to change it i then got to a point in my mid to late teens maybe where i was just like okay this is gonna be too much i'm gonna have to get my mom my dad in on this like this is just gonna be too much so i just got to the point where i said F it, forget it, right? It's gonna be too much. And then on top of that, I had no idea what I would change it to, right? Like I, I didn't feel like it was appropriate or it fit me to just kind of like pick something out of the air, you know, a name like I like Beyonce, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and on top of that, very few people in my life called me by my first name. So I'd always been known by a childhood nickname. And the only people that called me by my birth first name were people at school, I, I, that's pretty much it or people at work as I you know got older but for the most part no one called me that they called me by a nickname so the reasons why I am choosing to change my first name are as follows firstly I don't like it <laughs> secondly I don't feel like it suits me third I know that due to my first name I've experienced a form of name discrimination just like a lot of other people do and in addition to all the other plights that I have, right, being a woman, being a black woman, being a dark-skinned black woman, being a woman with natural hair, you know, whatever, all these other things, I just feel like I'm at a point where I don't want to have to deal with that anymore, especially considering I don't even like my first name. I feel like my birth first name precedes me in a negative way, and basically people assume things about me without having met me or known me, which of course people do all the time, but it was a negative stereotypes associated with my first name. So naturally, in addition to all the other things that I, about myself that I cannot change, this is something that I want to avoid, you know, especially because it's something that I have control over and that I, I can do. So with that said, I got married about four months ago and I am going through the changing process of my last name to change my maiden last name so i am changing my first name to my maiden last name so i kind of get the best of both worlds i get to change my name to something that i feel is more appropriate and fits me a little bit better and then i also get to keep part of my original kind of identity if you will and so i think it's the best of both worlds for me so something that i'm super excited about going forward in my life. So all in all, it just seemed like the appropriate time to finally make that step and it's something that I am super duper excited about. 
Now with that said, with making any type of change in your life or in a transformational journey, a level up journey, a just a journey to become a better person, there are people that are going to be supportive and then there are people that are going to be not so supportive or apathetic or... So I've gotten positive feedback from 95% of the people that I've told this to. They completely understand, completely get where I'm coming from. They love the change. It's amazing, cool, awesome. But when I got around to telling my parents, now that was a different situation, honey. It did bring up some points that I completely 100% understand. I'm a reasonable person, okay? <laughs> The primary one of those reasons being I could be a champion for people who don't like their name or experience name discrimination or people who, you know, get preconceived notions about who they are based on, you know, the name that they have. And essentially that I could be a positive role model. And then, you know, long story short, they mentioned that, you know, once I get to a point where I'm changing one thing about myself, it's kind of easy to go down that spiral to change this, this, that, and the other thing pretty much everything else, which I'm like, okay, it's not plastic surgery, okay? <laughs> but I completely get it. I completely, totally understand. My family watches my videos, so no disrespect. But I am choosing to change my name anyway because of, you know, the following reasons. Like I mentioned earlier, I am a champion for a lot of different things about myself that I cannot control. And so, Again, we'll run over the list being a woman, black woman, dark skinned black woman, all of the above, right? So essentially after 25 years, I'm drawing the line at name discrimination. I've had enough of that for the last 25 years. This is something that I can change. Like I am totally comfortable and at peace with my decision. But I thought it was an interesting topic to bring up. I'm sick of the constant misspellings, the constant, did I say that right? How do you say your first name? Meh, 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 meh. All that. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> no more. And you know, I think it's important to mention that, you know, at the end of the day, as with anything in your life, any change that you're making in yourself, you have to be the one that's at peace with it. You have to want be the one to live with your life. And so you need to do things that are most conducive for you in your journey. If it's not hurting anyone else, that's not the decision that you'll have to make and make sure that you're at peace with it and that you can live with it and that you can wake up feeling good about that choice. So yeah, I, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm the one who has to live my life. I want to walk in a room and be confident about shaking someone's hand and telling them my name. I want to feel good about introducing myself to other people. Everyone else or most everyone else gets to walk around liking their name, you know, liking and feeling confident and not being kind of shying away from going up and introducing themselves to someone. So why can't I have that too, you know? So at the end of the day, I just wanted to mention that this is an act of self-love and an act of self-care for me. This is me putting up or shutting up. This is me taking steps to change something about my life that I don't like, so I'm not sitting here just complaining about it. And I've been one of those people that has never felt like my name was who I am or my identity like some other people do, which I completely understand how they feel that way. And it probably is because I never liked it, so I never associated that with me as being the same person. But you know, I've just, I've never felt that way. So it, it's, it's not anything to me to just kind of let that go. So yeah, all in all, I'm super, super excited and at peace, like I said, about this choice. And I'm just excited to see how this will I guess it really won't change my life going forward, but how I'll feel about my life going forward. So I am so excited to have had this chat with you. Thank you for sitting here and listening to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. And I just wanted to kind of ask you, have you changed your name before? What have you kind of think about the points that I made, the points that some of my family members have made? And I just want to get the conversation going because I really do think it's a very, very interesting topic. And yeah, and just let me know also, do you think that your name is who you are? Do you consider that a part of your identity? I would love to know. So, so I will be back with another video very, very, very soon. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.